So a key comp part of the digital marketing conversation is personalization. Sure. And a key element of mobile that extends it even more is right. personalization. Yes. Your product is all about Correct. personalization. Correct. You, you have 121 million bears yes. that have come out of your Build-A-Bear. Yes. yes. And there's 121 million personalized version yes. of your yes. brand, Correct. right? Correct. So, so, I mean, the personalization is not just a, a, a sort of a throwaway marketing right. phrase for you. Yes. It is the critical foundation yes. of your business. Yeah. So talk about how the marketing opportunities and the potentials and the tools associated with mobile, right. because it's so personalized, sure. how does that match up with what you're doing? Yeah. So for us, you're exactly right. The personalization of the experience is what's so unique. You can bring two children in that have the same exact stuffed animal, and they're going to create it totally different from how they dress it, to the sound, to the scent, the wish that they make on the bear and what it means to them. And so for us, it's about working ways to deliver things that are personal to the experience of the individual. The guest, the guest doesn't, isn't necessarily going to come back in on a high frequency, and so it's about making sure that we look to mom who's busy, running the kids, going to the grocery store, picking up the kids, soccer, softball, any activity. How do we reward her and help her understand? Here's where we can play a role in the experience. And so getting things that are more, less about the buy and leverage of in-store, kind of the in-store um, promotions to more topical things, to use things through lifestyle imagery, to remind people about here's where the child, remember when your daughter has, she's dressed up in the ballerina costume, just like the plush is, and how do I create that experience to pull more on the heartstrings and really get into the point of storytelling for us. So when we look at things like programmatic, how do you make sure that you can leverage unique content that's native and mobile to the individual, whether that's on a social channel like Instagram, or it's something we're doing on Facebook, to just a mobile video that we've created for our consumer. To really, like I said, at the end of the day, we're storytellers. And how do we be the, continue to be the purveyors of childhood wonderment that's more on a one-to-one -one basis than that one-to-many, like I think a lot of other brands you know, really rely on. The tools that are evolving mm -hmm. as generated by mobile mm -hmm. is like a gift yes, for you. Absolutely. I mean, it's yeah. like it, it matches right. your, your business model so right. well. Yes. Um, let's talk about some of the new stuff. Okay. Periscope. Yeah. I would imagine that, you know, you have uh, a young child and their mom or dad, you know, building a bear. Yep. And you, you decide that uh, the mom is savvy enough to periscope right. it out to the family and, and the like. Right. Are you seeing stuff like yeah. that happen? Live yeah. video because it's, you know, this year it's had such a huge impact sure. so quickly. Yeah. For us, it, because of where we are, our core demographic because of child privacy law, so COPA, right. makes it a little bit more difficult for right. us. So it has to be, how do we make the mechanism, the tool to make it easy? and very transparent, but we can't be the ones that are pushing it because of those privacy. Build-A-Bear has built a brand around trust and privacy right. for mom, and so we can never, we can get, we will never even get even close to that line with mom, because once you destroy trust, you know, a brand like ours just isn't authentic anymore. So it's about how do we make the mechanisms of everybody, if you've gone to the bear, if you've gone to a Build-A-Bear workshop store, when the heart ceremony is happening, that's when all the cameras come out. Right. And so how do you make it, in a not intrusive way say hey you can share this and a lot of people do that for us with Facebook alone we have over 2.4 million fans but how do you continue and for us it's I call it kind of as a joke kind of the refrigerator report card the Greg got 2.4 million fans but how do I get them talking about us and exactly what you said sharing out that experience because it's so real it's so magical the mom grandma friend would love to see that of how that individual child created it so Video, those types of things for us, we have to be very careful with them um, around privacy, but like I said at the beginning, just make it very easy for them to remind them that, hey, you can pull out your camera and, and you know, share the moment and capture it right here. What are you excited about? Yeah. You know, it's 2015, right. you know, what, what are you seeing with the different explosion of mobile audience? People are frustrated, you know, because the eyeballs are coming, but you know the advertising's not following it. Right, right. And Convo, hopefully, will that'll happen soon enough. But what are you looking at that you that you when you look down at this year, 2015, mm -hmm. in mobile? Mm -hmm. What can you tell our audience uh, that uh, you're excited about? Yeah, I'm excited about the, overall. Everything is very exciting. It reminds me so being in the industry in digital for over 17 years now. It reminds me of the cusp of what e-com was, but moving at 100x the speed. And so I think it, for one, it's leveled the playing field for a lot of us, that we're all trying to learn to figure out what's the best practice to, to engage to our audience, which makes it unique to us. It isn't just simply plug and play. 
Our consumer is more than 50% mobile reliant, as, as we talked about earlier, she's definitely on the go. And so how do you intervene and intercept and augment what she's already doing? You know, less about the buy now and you have to come and do this, but once again, be more topical for us. I think content marketing is really where you can go, that you can, for us, be storytelling, but be storytelling that maybe not is so much connected about this physical product itself, but more about things uh, that mom's looking to do. If you're raising a child and every mom struggles with getting your five-year-old to brush her teeth every single night. So how does Build-A-Bear help to educate and inform as well that then at the end of the day, if we're topical, we can get her to tag and come back and read some of the editorial content that Build-A-Bear owns and operates, then I think you can continue to engage with her. And down the road, whether it's today or it's 30 days on the road, we're in that consideration set. And I think that's what all of us brands are looking for, is how do we figure out within the path to purchase as early as it might be, or as late as it might be, how do you remain topical and engaging for her? And then I think there's a lot of things that we can even leverage in the storytelling, and things from an Instagram perspective, that we can recapture moments, that we can recreate moments that people share with us every single day, and tell story through, the, through photography versus some of the other traditional ways I think a lot of people grew up with.